to week nine of Party People. I cannot believe that it has been nine weeks since I've got to see all your lovely little faces. And I am missing you all so, so much. And I hope you're maybe missing me just a little bit too. Now this week we are learning about Matthew chapter 10. And in last week's video, Leah did a really great job of wrapping up chapter nine. And in that we learned about God's harvest. This week we are focusing on Jesus' 12 disciples. And we're gonna be learning their names and a little bit about them. But before we do that, let's jump into some worship. And Andy, Jamie and the team have been doing a really great job in creating new worship videos for us to make worshiping at home a little bit easier. So let's join in with them now and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready, are you ready? I'm so ready. Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Party People Online. If we haven't met before, my name is Andy. And I'm Jamie. Guys, we have loved worshiping with you online over these last few weeks and we are going to worship again together this morning. You may have noticed we got some extra props and that is because we have been seeing videos of you guys using pots and pans from your kitchen. <laughs> so we are going to make some noise again this morning. We're going to make some music. Um, so wherever you are, why don't you jump up to your feet. Before we start, I'm going to swap my microphone for the Bible and we're going to read a passage from the Bible real quick. So this is from Psalm 150. So this is right in the middle of the Bible almost. And this is the prayer book or the worship book that the people in the Bible would have used. Um, this is the prayer book that Jesus himself would have used. And so the last chapter of that says, Hallelujah, praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty expanse. Praise him for his wonderful acts. Praise him for his abundant greatness. Praise him with trumpet blast. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with tambourine and with dance. Praise him with strings and flute. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Guys, a lot of those instruments are a little strange to us. We don't have lyres anymore, I don't think, but I could be wrong on that. Not too many of us have harps or trumpets in the house, but I'm sure you guys have saucepans. Maybe some of you do have string instruments, or some of you have percussion instruments like flutes and clarinets. And so this morning, we would love you guys to be able to play along with us, to play your instruments with us, to worship with us. And so in the link below this video, you're gonna find the chord sheets for the song that we're doing this morning, for both of the songs we're doing this morning, um, so that you can worship along with us. And then throughout, throughout the week, you can go back and you can learn those songs, keep playing with those songs. But this morning, we have improvised a little bit. We don't have harps and lyres, but we do have saxophones. We have one in our tree. We have electric guitars. We have microphones. And we have a massive boombox. So I hope you guys are ready. The sign that's gonna come out of this thing. So are you guys are you guys ready to go? Yeah? Well let me read the sound one more time and then we will jump right in. Hallelujah, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in his mighty expanse, praise him for his powerful acts, praise him for his abundant greatness, praise him with trumpet blast, praise him with harp and lyre, praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and flute. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Praise him with your saucepans and your instruments and your drum kits and your flutes. Praise him, everything that breathes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to put my Bible down and then we will get stuck right in.
Guys, before we move into a quieter time of worship together, why don't you wash your hands and make sure you get all the soap off underneath the water and why don't you hang them out to dry and we are going to pray and invite the Holy Spirit to come. Holy Spirit, would you come and fill the rooms that we find ourselves in? Holy Spirit, would we know you like we know a friend, would we know how close you are and God would we experience um, your love for us and your delight in us um, as we worship you right now. Would you come Holy Spirit in Jesus name. <laughs> Let's go deeper. 
job last week on finishing up chapter 9 and today we are moving into a new chapter funnily enough that is chapter 10 and we are going to be learning about Jesus's 12 disciples. Now chapter 10 is a very long chapter so I am only going to read a short bit so I'll read the start but feel free at home to read the rest of it and read on. So if you're reading at home grab your bible and we can begin now at the start of chapter 10. And it says, Jesus called his 12 followers together. He gave them power to drive out evil spirits and to heal every kind of disease and sickness. These are the names of the 12 apostles. Simon, also called Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot. Judas is the one who turned against Jesus. These 12 men he sent out with the following order. Don't go to the non-Jewish people and don't go into any town where the Samaritans live, but go to the people of Israel. They are like sheep that are lost. When you go, preach this. The kingdom of heaven is coming soon. Heal the sick. Give dead people life again. Heal those who have harmful skin diseases. Force demons to leave people. I give you these powers freely, so help other people freely. Don't carry any money with you, gold or silver or copper. 
Don't carry a bag. Take for your trip only the clothes and sandals you're wearing. Don't take a walking stick. A worker should be given the things he needs. So that's the opening part to chapter 10, but feel free to read on. And as I said, in this chapter today, we are learning about Jesus' 12 disciples. So why don't you read that chapter again? And if you're able to, circle or highlight their names in your Bible. If you don't like writing on your Bible or you're not allowed, do not worry. You could grab a piece of paper and write them down. You try to find them in chapter 10 and see how you get on. So today's Bible reading focuses on Jesus' disciples. But what is a disciple? Does anyone know? Well, a disciple is someone who believes in Jesus and follows him and his ways in their daily life. And in today's Bible reading, we learned about the names of Jesus' disciples. We're going to look at them now, but I wonder how many of them you can remember. So Jesus had 12 disciples, and they were Simon, Andrew, James, Philip, John, Bartholomew, Theodos, Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, Matthew the tax collector, who we learnt about a couple of weeks ago, and Judas Iscariot. How can we be disciples of Jesus today? What good things can we do to help others? Can you think of anything that we could do to help others and be a disciple of Jesus? Well, to help you, I've made a little list here of how we can be disciples of Jesus today. So, we could do these things. We could invite our friends to watch the Party People video on YouTube. Although we can't invite our friends and family to church like we would have done before, we can still share the word of Jesus and get them to watch and learn about what God has to share. We could worship. So we could make use of Jamie and Andy's videos by singing, dancing and worshipping God. We could do extra chores around the house. We could help out our mums, our dads, our grandparents or whoever we have at home. We could help them do the extra chores so that they don't have to and it means they have less work to do because let's face it, our parents, our grandparents, they do a lot for us so it would be nice so that they don't have to do them for us. We could pray for our neighbours. This is a really good one and it's really helpful with this week's prayer activity that Lauren has shared with us. We could pray for our neighbours on our streets or down the road from us. We could pray for the shops that are nearby to us or the bin men that come to our houses to collect our bins or anybody that is in our streets or working to help us stay at home. We could hug our family members. So I know sometimes my family get a little sad or sometimes they're sick and it's nice to hug them because it makes them feel loved. We could save up our pocket money if you get any and you could give that to charity or you could buy someone something nice like a little packet of sweets or something that they would like with your pocket money and give it to them instead. Or we could write out our memory verse and post it to a neighbour or a family member. I think that they would really appreciate a hand-drawn picture or a memory verse that reminds them that Jesus is with them. And last but not least, we could tell people about Jesus. We could share the stories that we are learning in Party People or that we have learnt somewhere else. And we could share the parables, those special stories that Jesus has told us and share them with others so that they too could know about the Kingdom of Heaven. So that's our story for this week. And maybe you could come up with a list of your own of how you could be a disciple for Jesus. Challenge yourself this week to maybe do one of those things that I've um, sh shared with us today or come up with your own. Be a disciple of Jesus and we can all bring the Kingdom of Heaven to earth. Our memory verse today is taken from John chapter 8 verse 31. Let's all read it together now. To the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. John chapter 8 verse 31. Good job guys. 
This time I've hidden some words, but I think you guys are clever enough to still read this week's mini verse. So let's have a go at that now. To the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. John chapter 8 verse 31 Okay, let's try this one. It might be a bit of a challenge, but I think you can do it. To the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. John chapter 8 verse 31 Great job, guys. And I think this week, as you continue to learn this memory verse, it will really help you in becoming a disciple of Jesus this week. So why don't you have a go at writing it out or drawing pictures that are related to this verse. Let's stick them up around our house maybe or you could send them to a family member or a neighbour. You could post it through their door. I think that they would really love that. That could be a good way um, of being a disciple to Jesus and sharing the word that Jesus has for us all. So try your hand at the memory verse this week and don't forget to send us your videos or your pictures to Chris so we can see how you're getting on. Now to help you learn more about Jesus and the 12 disciples, we have included some activities for you to do today or maybe this week. Um, they will help you learn the names of the disciples and maybe some facts about them too. We love to see how you're getting on with them. So if you have any pictures, any crafts, even if you record yourself doing the memory verse, or maybe you have a prayer you want to share, we would love to see that. So if you have any of those, send a picture, take a video, and send that to Chris at chris at lagonvalleyvineyard.com. Hi kids, my name's Lauren, and I am so excited to be able to come again this week and share with you some ideas to help you pray. We have seen pictures of your rainbow prayers and your plaster prayers and they are brilliant. So keep it up, you are doing such a great job. This week, however, with party people, we wanna encourage you to go out into your neighborhood with your mummy or daddy and to pray for the houses that live next to you, to pray for the people that you know that are, are your neighbors. And you can do this whether you live in the countryside surrounded by fields or whether you have people right next door to you. And how we do that is get your mummy and daddy and arrange a time that you're going to go for a walk. And as you walk, begin to pray. Just begin to thank God for your neighbour. Your neighbour might be called Anne or it might be called Jess or whatever your neighbour is. Begin to just say thank you God for and, and say their name. And then whatever you, else you want to pray for that, that neighbour, you might know them, you might know their family, you might know some, some exciting things about them or what they work at. Just begin to pray your best, biggest, bold prayer for your neighbours, that they will know that God loves them, that they will know that they are special, that if they are sick, that they will know that God makes people well again. So do that this week, and if you can't go out for a walk, or if your neighbours live very far away, one thing you can also do is even pray for your neighbours in your house. So how do you do that? Well, I live in um, the middle of a lot of fields, but this is what I've done, is I've done a map of even my friend's neighborhood. And this is simply what you can do. Draw out your map of your neighborhood and set it somewhere that, you, that you'll see it during the day. And each time you see it, whether you're playing with cars, driving on the roads, whatever that is, you remember the people that live in the houses, your neighbors, and you begin to pray over their house and who lives there, what pets do they have, what kids do they have. You begin to pray for your street, for your neighbors, and for your friends, that they will know that Jesus loves them. So have fun this week, and we'll see you soon. Now before we go, I would love to pray with you guys. 
So let's hold our hands out and pray on. Dear God, we thank you that we get to have party people online and that we don't miss out on learning about Jesus and hearing what you have to say to us. Lord, thank you for everyone watching this video and we thank you that they are able to do it from their own homes. Bless them, keep them safe. And God, we pray for happiness and smiles this week. Lord, help us to be like one of Jesus' disciples. Help us to do the kind and helpful things that they would have done. God, we pray for our family, our friends and our neighbours. Keep them safe also and help us be thoughtful and generous to them. Lord, thank you that you love us and you care for us. And in your name we pray. Amen. So that's it for another week of Party People. I have loved this week's story and learning about Jesus' 12 disciples and I hope you have too. So let's get creative um, with all your activities and I hope you do really well learning your memory verse and doing the prayer activity that Lauren explained to us as well. I hope you have another great week. You keep safe and you keep smiling.